Hello fellow collectors, Jambo Comics back finally after a long bout with the sickness here and finally back to do a video, a short video showing some of the things I got from me and Bub from Bub's Comics uh, trip that we made together at one of his local hunting grounds. So got some good books and Bub helped me get some good books pointing me in the right direction and uh, just some good stuff here I'll share with you real quick. Uh, you guys probably seen his video and he got a price guide that had an LB Cole cover and had an LB Cole signature inside of it. Well, I got one too, but unfortunately, mine didn't have a signature. And that was a Will Eisner cover there on that. So that was number six. I needed that for my run of price guides and was glad to grab that. And so we're getting kind of close on those. Here, I just picked up a couple of filler books. There's a nice Defenders, number 35. So, glad to have that one. Put that in our Defenders run. And uh, just uh, Tales of Suspense here, number 99. The last one, I think, of that run. Because it continued uh, with number 100 of uh, Captain America. I think after that, and Iron Man did uh, the one shot with uh, Submariner and then started his own series as a number one. So, Tales of Suspense 99. It's in good to very good shape. We'll fade it on the colors there, but still nice. Picked this up, found it. Uh, Wonder Woman special number, or special 77 uh, is number one. And uh, just a beautiful Linda Carter cover. You guys know I love Linda Carter. There she is. All of her glory. Pretty nice cover. So, glad to have that. I like that. Good stuff. Okay, and I found this. And Bub was eyeballing this, but I snatched it up before he could grab it. <laughs> it was a... Uh, a Raquel Welch cover from uh, 1 million years BC. Uh, the House of Hammer. I guess it had a lot of Hammer films and stuff inside of it also. And I uh, just love that cover. Very cool. Raquel Welch and all of her glory right there. And a dinosaur. Sorry I didn't take the sticker off of it there. But yeah, I haven't been doing much lately. And I apologize, guys. But uh, just wanted to get some stuff out here i found these and they were like two dollars and there was quite a few early conan in this uh bin uh so yeah i found these these were probably in the best shape of all of them this is pretty nice actually uh, there's a little bit of moisture damage on the back cover on the very bottom there just a very little bit on that one and uh not bad at all two bucks and also got this one. And that was the first uh, Elric. And uh, it was in really good shape. So, yeah, I was glad to get that. And got it for two bucks. So, yeah, I think it's about a $50 book now or something like that. So, very glad to find that at a good price. Uh, you know, anytime I can find stuff cheap, I'm going to grab it. So, yep, glad to have that. Two bucks. First Elric. All right. And uh, Bub had asked me what I was looking for before we went into the store there. And uh, he uh, picked out a couple of books and pointed me in the direction where they were and stuff and uh, helped me find this one. This was uh, X Men, Uncanny X Men 129. And, uh, yeah, you guys know about this one. The first Hellfire Club and uh, first Kitty Pride and stuff like that. So, and this book's been going up crazy price. But uh, I got a good deal on it. Uh, Bub's uh, store down there, it was called the... Uh, um, hold on, guys. Let me see. What was it called? It was called the Archives. And, um, yeah, it was a nice shop. It was a really nice shop. And I had a great time hunting down there with him. Uh, 
Bub's a lot of fun to hunt with, and man, he's good too. He uh, able to pick around and and find all the good books. He found this one here and pointed it out to me, and so I was glad to grab that. And also, I'd been looking for this, and he found this one for me too. I told him about before we went in. I was looking for a Wolverine number one because. Yeah, these things are going up in price and stuff. So, this is a really nice copy. And, yeah, uh, he actually uh, went uh, and uh, paid for it for me. And uh, haggled with the guy and got a good price for me on that one. Uh, I think we ended up giving about 75 bucks for it. So, yeah, they're, they're going for more than that on eBay now. And this one was in really nice shape. So, yeah. Glad to have that now and can mark that off my list of books I'm wanting to get before they get too crazy and I, don't, I won't pay any more for them than what they want. So, yeah, glad to have that. And uh, finally, uh, that's a nice copy. You can see. Finally, uh, Bub got me a book, too. I needed this one. I didn't have it. Uh, one of the Dave Stevens covers of Alien Worlds. So... Yeah, I was really glad to get that. Thank you, Bub. Uh, great guy, man. He's he's one of the best in the community. Uh, has a really nice uh, uh, comic room. Uh, he showed me and gave me a tour around it. I got to peek through some of his books and stuff. A uh, really nice collection of some very nice books. Great guy, Bubs. Appreciate you having me down, buddy. Just wanted to show you guys some of the things I put, picked up down there and it was uh, a lot of fun and i hope to do it again hopefully i'll be feeling better and uh, be a lot uh, more enthusiastic about digging some more and stuff but uh, i appreciate it appreciate you guys stopping by thank you for your time